Hi guys, this is Nanda Kishore. In this tutorial, let's see how we can implement the TinyDB in MIT App Inventor. It's quite simple. So for that, let's uh, take few, few components from over here. So uh, let's pick two text boxes and a single button. So text box, I wanted to enter a company name and find out what is the where the headquarters is located. So I, let me just rename it as company name and the second one as location. So let me change the name on the button too. Is so it says save. Okay. And also over here, just to identify it on the screen. So when I enter over here, I should also have another text box so that I can enter the company name and another button so that I can get the location. So for that, let me have one more text box and a button and also a label to further result. So let me rename it as get company and this one as find location or the appropriate one is find headquarters and this one as just hq as a headquarters let's rename the label as hq because it should not be displayed initially on the screen or maybe sorry we can just take it away and now let's go to the blocks with the implement our logic so when you click on the save, you want it to be saved, right? Sorry, the main thing is like we have to, we should also have the tiny db over here because this is the place where we save all the tags and the values. So when you click on the save button, we should save the details in the tiny db. So we will use this and the tag that we have, we should save over here is the company name. So get the text of the company, that is this one, and the value to store is the location, right? So location dot text. Then next, now the data will be saved in the tiny db. Next, when you click on the find headquarters, you want to get the details of the location. So you wanted to set the label right so before so for the label you wanted to set the text so select this and you want to get the data from the tiny db so in the tiny db get this component and provide the company name for the tag so the company name that you can get from the ticket company so click on this and get the text that is over here. And if you enter any other company which you didn't save over here, so you can just mention here saying info not available. Okay. So now let's check it in emulator. Let me type and and let me save it okay now let me enter google and click on this i got the california right now let me type i'm sorry now let me type just google no sorry let me type jpnc which is in Android. save it and let me type gpnc and click on get new york right now let me type jp because we don't have that information and it will display info not available so this is it it's very simple you can implement it wherever you find it appropriate in your application and let me know if you get any doubts just comment on the below of this video and 
if you want any other logics to be implemented there and if you want any suggestion please let me know i can just create another video and then post it over there thank you guys